What is up YouTube? I am the 13 Scorch and today we are back for episode 16 of Fire Emblem Rekka no Ken. I am so excited to finish up this chapter. We're just going to end this turn right now. Whatever. It's our turn again. We have everybody set up with Vulneraries. It's great. You used one, so I'm I'm just going to have you buy one more because I don't know when we're going to get Vulneraries again. So get that. There we go. Alright, and we are good to just dive into this. If you missed the last episode, please do check it out on the channel. Uh, but I hope you all will enjoy what is to come as we seize the village gate and finish the first chapter of the main story. Oh, you would be Lord Ellywood, yes? Our deepest thanks for coming to be aid of our fair village. I think nothing of it. It's a lord's duty to protect the citizenry. Would that were true, my lord. The good folk of Laos know no such protection. The Marquess Lord Darren is too busy preparing for war. He ignores all complaints of bandits and thieves. Preparing for war? Are you sure? I would not lie, my lord. My brother lived in Laos until a few days ago. His home was torched, and he had no choice but to flee here. According to him, Laos could go to war any day now. That's all the people of Laos are talking about. Crap, I forgot your voice. It was, uh, deep, regular, sort of like me, um... Lord Ellawood, if this is true, the situation is a grave one. If Marquess Laos is readying for war, his target is most likely another Lycian territory. Perhaps this is connected to Lord Elbert's disappearance. My father, Marquess Laos. <laughs> Seems a tenuous connection, but it's as good a start as any. Let us travel to Laos. We must learn more. Right off into the sunset. Or not yet. Thank you for your guidance, Scorch. Uh, where are you bound for next? If you have no destination in mind, perhaps you could travel with us. Ours is a small group with a single purpose. To find my father. I do not know where our road will lead, but we will be stronger with you in our company. You will travel with us? Splendid! Uh, thank you. I pray we give you no cause to regret your decision. I think I'm doing that voice right. You know, he's got the, the British, slightly posh. Not sure. Rebecca, where do you think you're going, young lady? Father, I... I intend to accompany Lord Ellawood. Don't be ridiculous, girl. Lord Ellawood is not going on a pe on a picnic. He's riding into danger. I know that, Father. That's why I want to go. We owe him our lives, and I want to repay him. My bow may not be all that much, but I know I can be of service. But... And, Father, I may meet up with my brother somewhere. You're the magistrate. You have responsibilities. I... This is all I can offer. I need to do this. Please, Father, let me go. Dear me. You're just as stubborn as your mother was. I'm sorry, Father. You must bow to Lord Ellawood's wishes on this matter. If he consents, you may go. Thank you, Father. Lord Elbert has always been kind to us. Follow his son with a true heart, Rebecca. Serve Lord Ellawood well, as I have served his father. I will, Father. Alrighty then. She has a brother. And I have forgotten who that brother is. But we are on chapter 12, Birds of a Feather. After speaking with the village magistrate, Ellawood and company set their sights on Laos. The road from Foray to Laos passes through Santa Ruz. Ellawood suspects his missing father must have visited Santa Ruz en route to Ostia. Ellawood arranges a meeting with the local ruling lord to see what he can learn. Trying to speak English, man. It's just not working for me today sometimes. It's, it's coming out alright. It's just like it feels wrong in my throat and mouth. It's just weird. <gasps> I know this depressing dark music. Santa Ruz Castle. What? Elwood is here? Alright, alright. This, this guy... Oh, man. Part of me is like, I want to do a Joker, a Heath Ledger Joker voice, and then the other part of me is like, no, 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 he's, he's a lot more serious. You need to give him a legitimate voice, not something people are going to laugh at because you attempt to do it. Ah, uh, fuck it. Uh, Joker voice, okay. Um, You lick your lips a lot. Uh, you put your voice up in the eye. I want to make this pencil disappear. No, I can't, I can't do it. I haven't, I haven't seen the movie in so long. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. 
doesn't have a fucking... Okay, wh wh whatever. We'll, we'll deal with it later. Um, yes. He set up camp on a hill south of here. He seeks permission to enter Santa Cruz. He seeks an audience with you. Could it be? Do you think Eliwood's come to ask of his father? If that's the case, I... I know not what to tell him. Tell him you know nothing, and let him be on his way. Yet, I know young Elliwood well. His father, Elbert, and I are old friends. I have no children of my own, and I've always treasured Elliwood. I do not believe I could look him in the eye, and I could not lie to him. I could not. We've no choice, then. Let us chase the boy away. If you do not speak with him, you need tell no lies. Wait, do you mean to harm Elliwood? Not harm, frighten. A scratch or two will leave no scars. He will run home to Foray and be done with his adventure. He is, after all, all that Foray has left. Dot 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 dot. Dot dot dot. Oh. Okay. So yeah, no, I, I, basically, apparently, I need to watch The Dark Knight again. Because <laughs> I could do a Joker impersonation, I just I haven't seen it in so long. Instead of entering Laos with such a small group, we should meet with Marquez Santa Cruz and request his assistance. I see the sense in that. It's a good plan, Scorch. Truly so. I tell you again, I'm pleased to have you with us. Lord Hellman, he's not only my father's friend, I've known him since I was a child. I'm sure that he would help us. What? Lord Elwood, the where? Ah, look, the people are running out. <laughs> Noble sirs, alms for a poor villager. I, I'm doing like the same freaking voice for everybody. <laughs> every every fat guy with an axe. Poor villager, you look nothing like an honest man. Clear the road. Step quickly, or step quickly. <laughs> Good advice. Maybe it's you who should follow me. What? What the fuck was that? Uh, someone wants to buy, wants to bore in an early grave. A shame if you ask me, but he'll die here today. Come on, boys, earn your keep. I feel like I've said, come on, boys, earn your keep before. Oh, wow, that is a lot of people. This should be fun. Uh, here we go again, the Scorch. Uh, just like old times. Seems our fates are bound. Natalie? Oh, she's still in Ferre. I'm working for you this time, so she's not too worried. I guide my axe, Scorch. I will guide your axe straight over to this vendor because there are vulneraries. Of course there are. Alright, let's uh let's just check these guys real quick. Steel axe, iron lance, iron lance, nothing, 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 nothing. Alright, they have nothing to give us. Alright, Marcus, you're gonna go up here, visit this village, and... Hmm, you look like some you some experience with battle. I have the same old man voice, I'm sorry. No need to conceal it. I've fought in many a battle in my time, I assure you. Let me tell you one thing about combat, though. The most important thing is technique. If you've no skill... You'll rarely strike your enemy. My instructor gave me this secret book long ago. It will improve the fighting powers of the one who reads it. I'm too old to make use of it, so why don't you take it? Well, all right then. We got a secret book. Congratulations, Marcus. You're the proud owner. Barcher, I'm not going to use you over the others. We got you, and then we can just put you right there, and boom! That is our first turn in this. And you know what? I forgot the time we started recording. I think it was 38. Now it's 47, so that's about 9 minutes, I guess. 9, 8 minutes, I don't know. Uh, let's move Marcus on down here. You know, Marcus will visit this, because Bartra is too slow for anything. Uh, I saw them, I did. About a month ago, uh, Marquez Ferrey and his men passed right through here. Uh, they've all gone missing, haven't they? A group as strong as that just up and vanishing. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, couldn't have been bandits, but dot, 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 I, I don't believe it. Uh, it must have been something terrible. 
The world's become a dangerous place these days. Yes, it has. You can only do seven damage. You can only do ten damage. You can only do eleven damage. You can do seventeen damage. Thus letting... Are you kidding me? You have a 29% chance to miss, Dorcas, and you miss. What are you, Bartra? Or Lowen? Yeah, that, that, that's right, that's Lowen. Deal your 7 damage, Rebecca. Get your experience. I'm really sorry. Hey, look, there's an armory, too. Let's bring you up here. We'll attack with the Javelin. Well, at least we can attack from a distance. We're going to have to get him a level up, apparently, and an Iron Lance. HP, Strength, and Defense. No skill, speed, luck, or resistance. Congratulations. And Elwood will attack this guy. Get a crit? No, no crit. And he doesn't get hit. Thankfully, the 60% dodge works out for us. He gets a level up because he stopped at 99. That's right, HP and luck. That is really, really sad. Alright then, the enemy's turn. What are you gonna do? You're gonna attack Elliewood? You're gonna miss. Because you suck, Bandit. And we get the crit. Unnecessary, but fun. I'm getting a little too into this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's good. Maybe that's good that I'm getting more into it. Uh, okay. That's fine. We got hit. It's okay. If I remember correct... No, wait, we don't. Nope, we, we don't get uh, them this early there are like certain things I remember like I have no clue who Rebecca's brother is I have I have no clue I cannot remember we'll put you here we'll send you to this armory where you shall buy yourself an iron lance because you deserve it not really you were really horrible in the last chapter bah it puts up a good five for a pampered noble pup. I sound like Elvis Presley. <laughs> it's up to me to finish him. A hunk of donka. A hunk of donka. That, that is... I don't think he ever said that in his life. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sure that's, that it sounds absolutely nothing like him. Oh, we get another crit. This time, not unnecessary. Way to go, Elwood. Give me a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Fried peanut butter, banana, and bacon sandwich. I think that's what it was. A fried peanut butter, bacon, and banana sandwich. Which actually sounds pretty good. I mean, because I know... I know that there's, um... There's a burger. Wow, really? You hit twice with that? 56% chance? Lowen, you may be getting better. There's a burger at a restaurant that is now closed where I live. But, um... It was nice while it lasted. Uh, how many are there? This looks... Oh. Huh? Okay. Okay. It's time. I know we gave him a voice earlier, but I'm pretty sure... Hector, you're the Dean Winchester of this group. Oh god, I can normally do this so well. I don't know why I put pressure on myself just because there's a microphone. Just get, you just get deep with your voice and you gruff it out. Come on. You're mopey. You like pie. Do it. You hunt monsters for a living. Hey. Hey. Oh, my God. I I just need to calm down. I'm, I'm getting stage fright. Somehow. Sam. Give me some pie while you're... No, I can't... I can't do it. God damn it. Ah. <laughs> uh... Hey, what's going on over there? Looks like some rough business. You, soldier! You just gonna stand there and watch? Who do you think you are? This is Santa Rose. What occurs here is no fear of any foreign lordling. I believe I'm gonna have to disagree with you. You see, the man they're attacking happens to be a friend of mine. A friend? What? I should have seen that coming. Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. Cass, let's go! We got pie. I don't know. That was horrible. 
Ew, that's terrible. I loathe violence. Oh, wait, this is his lord. That's right, so he, he can just do his normal voice now, which was... Crap, I don't remember anything. Nicely done, my lord. You're a fighter born. I cannot condone... You look like another Arnold person. Well, you know, I don't know when we're going to see Wallace again, so you are benefacto Arnold. Arnold, I cannot condone resulting to fall so quickly. Chastise me later, Oswin. First we deal with these brigands. Stab them in the heart with stakes, guys. Come, we must help Hollywood. Help Hollywood? Sounds like a convenient excuse for more violence. Oswin. Yes, yes. I am coming. Matthew, take Sarah and find some place to hide. What? Wait, Sarah? No, I'm going with you. You are not. You'll slow us down. Oh, how rude. Oswin, let's go. That was too high pitched for I me. Mean, I don't. I don't know. I need to just. I need to sit back uh, while this is rendering and just watch some Supernatural and just get that voice back because I know I can fucking do it. Oh, it pisses me off. It really, really upsets me. Ah. Ah, you can only do seven damage. But you can't hit him, so let's go for it. It's just Gruffy McGrufferson. I'm depressed, you know. I have my reasons to be depressed. Iron Lance, you almost take care of it, Oswin. Oswin, you're so close to destroying the bandit. Ah, that was... That was awful. I am so sorry. This must be really hard on your ears. And your conscience. I mean, you're just sitting here like, why am I listening to this guy do horrible impressions while playing a dated game? And we get hit. 63% chance to dodge, and we get hit. Of course. All right, bring it on. We dodge. We hit you, and then we get ready, and we crit you unnecessarily. Goodbye. Fade into oblivion. Hector is awesome. You're going to go after him, of course. I don't understand why. We get another crit? Wow! Way to go, Hector. Okay, well I think that is where we're going to end today's episode because I'm pretty sure we're going to be fine. We're going to finish this chapter in the next one. I really hope you all enjoyed, despite my lack of, let's see, we messed up on Joker, Dean Winchester, you know, Jensen Ackles, and Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator, and every other role he's played. Basically, you got three terrible accents today. I'm going to go try and watch some while this is rendering and editing and try and fix that so that hopefully next episode I can do it a lot better. I hope you all enjoyed, if you're still watching. Uh, this is 13 Scorch, signing off.